Boo. Um, I don't know if anybody's here yet, but I just want to say, whether it's to myself or not, um, that this is going to be a very short game. A short and sweet, you know, reflective type of game. Um, I have no idea what it's actually about. I have like a rough idea. Um, I've never played it, obviously. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see. Hopefully you guys like it. I hope I like it as well. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, team. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Mike, why can't I find my face? <laughs> Here I am. Um, and you guys should be able to hear me, right? Yes. <clears throat> so this is going to be a short, interactive uh, story type game. The vast majority of the psychological games you're going to come across, at least on Steam, um, they are going to be like story interactive, um, either like a lot of reading or dialogue. It's really cool when they have voice actors because, um, you know, it just brings it to life. I try my best, but I think the professionals do it better. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have never played. I don't know anything about this game, so we will see. I just know it's a mother and a daughter in a car. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get it started. Oh, boy. yes. I'm a little in the corner. <laughs> mm mm mm. All right, I'm going in. Thank you, Agra. So, Agra, can you hear the the crickets? Do you do you wish they were louder? Or um, tell me if the volume's good once they start speaking or more happens. I suppose. Oh. I hope these are going to help this time. I don't want her to get car sick again. Time to take your ginger lozenge. Lozenge? I really hope that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> they never really work, Mom. Do we want to say yes, they do, or they will this time? They will this time. I don't want to you know, tell her what's working for her, but they will this time. I've got a good feeling about it this time. Take this one and hold on to the pack for the road. There you go. I still like them. Oh yeah? They're sweet and taste like candy. That's good. It's really easy. Just turn the keys and press the pedal as always. Come on, Lucy. Mom, can we please stay? No, honey. Sorry. Oof, she turned the key. Road so empty. I wish there were more cars around us. Maybe it wouldn't feel so lonely. It's still dark outside. I know, honey. Sorry we had to leave so early. It's gonna be a long day. Alright. Things are not that bad, really. We'll be in our new home soon. Michelle is with me. We're all packed. Crap. 
I was so distracted that I didn't check if Michelle packed her toys. Ugh. Hey, it is too late, but I still want to know. I'm gonna check. Did you pack everything you need, honey? I think so. Stuff bunny? What about your stuff bunny? Um. He should be. He. Mom, I can't find him. That's not good. Michelle loves Benji so much, she won't be able to sleep without him. Maybe he's in one of the suitcases. No, I wouldn't put him there. Benji can't breathe in them. It's okay, we'll check everywhere when we arrive. I'm sure we'll find him. Charlie got Benji from Michelle when she had those awful stomach aches. She was in such pain, curled up in a ball all night. I didn't know what to do. Benji was her sleeping buddy. I don't think she spent a night without him ever since. It all feels so far away now. What do you think Duke is doing right now? He isn't doing all that much lately, sweetie. Probably still sleeping. Maybe he has one of those dreams when his legs are moving like he's running. I like when he does that. I wonder where he thinks he's running to. Duke is our old beagle. He was Charlie's dog before we got together, so... In the end, we decided Duke will stay with him. Even though it breaks my heart. Remember how Dad made his pancakes that one time and Duke ate them all? That was funny. I thought you were angry that he ate yours. I was, a little. But then Dad made more and after breakfast we all went to play in the yard. I miss Duke already. try to cheer her up this time. You know, I think our new neighbors have a cat. I bet they'll let you play with it. Mom, why would you say that? You know it's not the same. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sweetie. I thought I would make you feel better. I'll miss Duke very much, too. It's okay. It's dad! Shit. What do you mean, Charlie? It's not a good time. Can I pick up? Sure, honey. Why don't you put it on speaker? Remember how you do it? Yeah. Hey, Lucy. There's something I gotta say before... Charlie, you're on speakerphone. Oh. Hey, Dad. Hey, Pumpkin. How's it going? Are you feeling okay? Haven't been sick yet. That's my girl. She always seems so happy with Charlie. Dad, I can't find Benji anywhere. I think I might have lost him. Hmm. I'm sure you haven't. Maybe you just forgot to put him in your backpack. Let me check in your room. Okay. Yep, just as I thought, right here on your bed where you left him. Thank you, Charlie. Yes, Mom, did you hear? Dad found him. I heard, sweetie. That's great news. Will you bring him over when you come? I'll tell you what. Why don't I send him in an overnight package for you? This way, he'll be with you really, really fast. Does it mean you won't come visit soon? Um, I'm not sure yet, Pumpkin. Hey, would you pass the phone to your mom for me? 
I, I'm driving Charlie, Charles, sorry, can't pick up now. Right. I'll hang up now and we'll leave you a voicemail about that thing, okay? Okay. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Have a safe trip. Bye, Dad. Charles is so good with her. I could have sworn his name was Charlie. But I still feel nothing. What did he say on that voicemail? I have to wait until we stop now. Whatever it is, why couldn't he say it before I left? He had months. Years? Mom, you know how we have those little cartoons of us on the car window? Are you gonna keep Dad and Duke there? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> That's a tough question. <laughs> Uh, sh sure, of course I will. Your father and Duke are still in our life, and we'll keep them there too. Mom, are we still family? That's exactly why I said we'd keep the stickers. Yes. We'll always be a family. Sure we are. Just not exactly in the same way. Mom, are you mad at me? No, dear. Why would you think that? I feel like I did something wrong. Baby, no, you've done nothing wrong. You look so happy in the old pictures with Dad. You don't anymore. That's... It has nothing to do with you, Michelle. But you and Dad are always fighting about something I did. Like when Dad and I watched that horror movie you didn't want me to see. What? No, that's... Or, or when I took Vicky's doll when nobody was watching. Sweetie, Mom, I'm really sorry. Maybe if I was better, things would be different. Can I still fix it? Michelle, listen to me. It's very important to me that you understand this. The problems we have are just between Charles, your dad, and me. It's nobody's fault but ours that we couldn't figure them out. Nothing that happened is your fault. Nothing at all. Do you hear that, honey? Are you okay? Mom, I'm not feeling so good. Not again. Poor Michelle. It's okay, sweetie. Remember what daddy taught you to do when you feel carsick? He... He says to look straight ahead and think about good things. That's right. What is a good thing you'd like to think about? I don't know. I'm feeling sick. Well, how about our new home? You'll get a new room with a big bed. We'll find a good place for all the toys, I guess. It's just going to feel so empty. I'll think about when Dad will come visit us. Oh, I'll think about when Dad will come visit us and we'll get to play with Duke again. Do you think dad will make us all pancakes again when he comes? Mom?
Maybe you shouldn't think about food right now. Will you let dad come visit soon? I don't know. Mom, I'm gonna throw up now. Shit. <laughs> Hang in there, I'll, I'll stop the car. Oh, I feel like I'm failing this. Poor kitten. How are you feeling? Better. Mm. Are they gonna let us hear it? Mom, are you okay? Don't wanna lie to her. Not really, sweetie. <laughs> you should take my lozenge. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> I thought they didn't help. They still taste good. And they make you feel like maybe it will be okay. I'll take the lozenge. Oh. <laughs> You're right. It does taste like candy. Thank you. I do feel better. That's good. When you feel a little better, we should get we should get some food into you again. We still have a long way to go. Can we maybe stop by a diner and get some pancakes? It sounds like a great idea. Can I call dad when we eat them? Of course, honey. sad. <laughs> Obviously it's about um, her parents getting divorced and just um, this is like the day that everything's going to change between the family. Don't tell me it ended. Oh that was the whole thing. <laughs> I'm like yo what's going to happen next? Dang. I knew it was short but I didn't know it was that short. <laughs> that was super short. We'll never know what happens next. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well. Okay, okay, okay. Discussion. First of all, hello everybody that I haven't said hello to. I just really wanted to focus on the game. I knew it wasn't going to be that long. I didn't know it was going to be that short, but... um. Okay. My thoughts on it. Um, despite it being very short, uh, I mean, I wish they would have made it longer. Maybe they'll made it, make another chapter later on. Um, I liked the whole idea of um, simulating the conversation, like how tough it can be, and some of like the lose lose choices of um, explaining all the changes and just like the process of divorcing when you have children um and i like that they presented it in a way that you know like neither parent was extraordinarily toxic you know what i mean um it seemed like one of those situations where you know the parents drifted apart or just don't get along anymore or fighting for whatever reasons but their their own personal re reasons and they're still good parents um, and they still have like at least a respectful relationship with one another 
for their child. Um, so I did appreciate those aspects. Um, I thought they, I thought they did a really good job with the the little girl. <laughs> Just the way, um, no matter what the mom was saying, it kind of always drew back to this whole like, oh, like, you know, when dad's gonna be there, and like, you know, almost like she's not realizing how great of a situation it is. But then at the same time. Um, when she asked her mom, you know, are you mad at me? You know, it it speaks volumes to the fact that even if kids seem normal or seem like they're being really strong, just kind of going through things and um, they're not so outward with their feelings, like they still pick up on all those things and there could still be a lot of hurt inside. Sometimes you do have to take the extra step to Kind of be that nurturing parent to your child um, or just like a good you know role model in a child's life um, like I was reading something not too long ago about um, somebody's kid who um, had just lost their grandma but the mom like she had just lost her mother you know so obviously she's grieving really hard and like the family around her was grieving really bad and um, her daughter seemed completely fine you know like playing like normal eating like normal same routine um and it wasn't until she sat down with her the little girl and you know she was like you know it's okay to talk about your feelings and your feelings matter too and you know her daughter like broke down to her you know said how she missed her grandma and uh, makes her really sad that she doesn't get to see her anymore and all that to say <laughs> um Kids are resilient because they're very, very strong. Um, but it is important that you, I don't know. I feel like giving kids like that respect to just feel their feelings and talk through their feelings and work through it and knowing that like they're valid. Um, you know, like as adults, we want that. Um, I think we too much like downplay what a kid knows and feels and sees when you know in reality like they're they're around a lot of the same things that you are on a day-to-day -day when that's your kid so i like the story <laughs> it was short it was sweet i like the sentiment <sighs> yeah exactly um exactly and that's really common too especially if you don't really address things with your kid um, or you know if you're kind of covering things up constantly because then it's like think of it this way um, if you're very young and like maybe you don't always know the full situation between your parents and they're always fighting and your name's always being brought up right it makes sense to think that maybe you're the cause of an issue and then imagine even more that um, you know your parents look you in your eyes and they're lying to you and you know they're lying to you so it's like you know people only lie to you like the thinking is people only lie to you when they have something to hide from you so it only further reinforces that whole idea like oh maybe it's me maybe it's me like I'm this problem um, and obviously there's a way to speak to kids and present things and um, you know taking into consideration like age groups is important but you know always having that like respect and talking with them is just so important and that's why I love this it's like it's just the mom talking to her daughter like taking the time like hey I want you to know that nothing was ever your fault like you're not an issue you were never an issue you know I'm reminding her like we're always gonna be a family things are just different now um and they could have gone more extensive into it but all in all a nice little toe dip into the pool of that stuff ah, thank you <laughs> sammy i'm glad you well i'm assuming you're talking about the game or the pancakes either way um I'm glad you think so mm -mm -mm. lonnie you missed like an entire game no big deal anybody else have any thoughts on it before we close out with this.
I'm choking now, but <coughs> um, also a tiny thing, like not even a tiny thing. It was a big deal. It doesn't really have much to do with um the kid per se. Well, I guess that was a dog that they grew up with as well. But just talking about relationships in general, imagine being with someone for like a decade or maybe more or something just so long raising a dog together but technically it's their dog and then in the end you're like damn i gotta leave my dog <laughs> like oh that sucks um yeah i always think about that that's why i would never share a dog with anybody i i think it's smart when you know couples are like oh like you know like no matter what just you know this is my dog that i got for myself um you know, it's nice to like share the love and be a family, but it is important. Um, right? It's like, dang. Yo, I'd low key steal the dog. <laughs> um, ooh, Lonnie, how you feeling? And Mr. Mai, hello. Let me, let me think. Are there any more details? Obviously, the motion sickness. The motion sickness, like, paired with, like, the food, aka, like, the pancakes, it all tied the story together, so I think they did really good with that. Um, yeah. And then it was really super, super sweet. It just showed, like, the innocence of kids. Um, you know, her mom, like, I chose, like, the honest route of her saying, like, no, like, you know, I'm not really okay. And how the little girl's like, oh, like take a lozenge like you know um it'll make you feel better because that's always what her mom has told her and um i love the part where she said um i don't know if i remember it verbatim but she was like um you know her mom said i thought they didn't work and she's like oh you know they still taste good and at least um basically it can it gives you that hope that maybe things will be okay you know well, one, placebo effect, which I love. And two, it's just so beautiful, you know? Like, um, I feel like that's what a lot of things do for us. Like, outside of medicine and things, um, it's about the hope. It's about the hope that it can bring. And, you know, like, hope alone can, like, bring you out of mindsets and push you forward and do a lot of things for you. So, I don't know. If I was going to dig deep on that, that's what I would say. Imagine how the dog feels. Well, I mean, they got to stay in, like, their normal, comfortable location, so it's not too bad. <laughs> but, okay, um... Jeez. Oh, I'm actually gonna end things here. This is gonna be just a short stream. Um, I wanted to get a little game um, and just have a good conversation with you guys. If you guys have anything to add, I'm willing to talk more, but um, yeah, I've just, I had the longest day ever. Um, so it'll be nice to, to get off and have like, at least like an hour, hour and a half before I have to go to sleep. <laughs> Um, so that I can do some other things. Honestly, I want to just like organize my room. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, the next psychology game, I'm going to start doing them on Sundays. And um, I think I'm going to start doing them on YouTube, which is a huge change for me. But I'll keep you guys posted on that kind of stuff on Discord. Um... But yeah, if you haven't done so already, definitely subscribe to my YouTube. That's where all, like, my psychology and introspective content is going to be, you know, like, vlogs and all my piano stuff is going to be there. Um, so definitely check it out. Yeah, I feel like um, the people who want these sorts of games, like, that are going to appreciate the story-driven type games and just, like, the introspection of it, 
um it'll just be better if it's like a video saved forever on youtube because um anytime i've done it on twitch sorry i'm confusing myself uh a lot of people they just want to see me play like rocket league or something <laughs> um so this would be a nice way like you know if you do want to tune into that kind of stuff it's there for you and it'll be there forever um so yeah have an amazing night um brush your teeth hydrate hug your dog thank you guys for being here oh let me make myself big <gasps> thank you guys for being here <laughs> i will be on youtube tomorrow but not on twitch yes i'll be on at 9 p.m eastern time tomorrow but all right goodbye good night